The Outlander Effect continues. Scottish historical tourism at all-time high. The Outlander Effect is no myth. Interest in the books and series has seen tourism at popular Scottish history sites at an all-time high. Staffed historic properties around Scotland has seen a 17% increase in visitors in the 2017-2018 period, compared to the period the year before. That means more than 5 million people have visited the attractions in a single year and the Outlander Effect has been given as one of the reasons. It's no surprise to hear that Down Castle has seen a 36% increase in visitors. This is the building used for Castle Lock in the fictional series. Glasgow Cathedral and Linlithgow Palace have also considerable increases in visitors. If that wasn't enough to prove that Outlander is good for tourism, Historic Environment Scotland, HES, estimates that 7 million people have been to one of the many free sites around the country. Many of these have also been used in filming. While international interest in the country and a favorable exchange rate have also been accredited as the reason for the increase in tourism, some of the international tourism has certainly come from Outlander fans. The third season saw a 45% increase in viewers, many of whom had never read the books first. Their first experience has been the buildings used for filming. Alison Weir's Tour of Scotland, which isn't happening until next year is another sign that the Outlander effect is still going. Her Scotland tour was sold out within 20 minutes, and she made a point of promoting the fact that she'd be stopping at 14 different Outlander locations. While Outlander fans are certainly more than welcome at the Scottish historic sites, there is still the reminder to be respectful. Extra security and cordoning off sections has become a necessity due to damage. Are you planning a trip to Scotland to see the extents of history? Where would you like to visit? Share your wishes in the comments below.